this is a, a very famous book which has the capacity to uh, change the lives of uh, its readers isse pehle 16 principle hum bata chuke hain 17 principle number 17 ask for what you want ask for the information assistance support money and time that you need to fulfill your vision why people are afraid to ask they are afraid of experiencing rejection don't say no to yourself before anyone else say uh, else says no to you take the risk there may be yes even if you get a no you are no worse off than when you started how to ask ask as if you expect to get it assume you can get what you are going to ask for be clear and specific never quit asking until you get yes kids do it you have nothing to lose and everything to gain by asking exercise make a list of things you want but you don't ask write your fear as to why you don't ask write the benefits if you get it by asking principle number 18 reject rejection learn how to deal with rejection rejection is natural it happens to everyone on many occasions in one's life rejection is a myth why things don't become worse after rejections they remain the same follow sw 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 principle which says some will some would not so what someone's waiting what you want wants you know that it is a number game the right number will click count only those who say yes never give up when someone says no it means go next so the founder of recipe of what is known as kfc was rejected for over 300 times after that he found yes now there are 11000 kfc restaurants in 80 countries of the world rejection means just one thing not at this address principle number 19 use feedback to your advantage feedback is the breakfast of the champions when you start any project be open to feedback it will guide you take criticism as correctional guidance don't quit or get angry if you receive negative feedback don't ignore the feedback 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 is simply an information don't take it personally just welcome and use it just thank and appreciate the source of feedback you should ask for feedback the most valuable question how do you rate the quality of my services behavior and product on a scale of 1 to 10 if the answer is less than 10 what would would it take to make it a 10 don't be afraid to ask for feedback you are better off knowing the truth than not knowing the truth you can't fix what you don't know is broken and intentionally and actively solicit feedback if one person tells you are a hoax is crazy if three person tells you the same there is a conspiracy of food if 10 person tells you it's time to buy a saddle spend some time with positive loving friends family relations who can, who can reaffirm your worth make a diary of your everyday activity write down your successes and the lessons learned take some time to go back and review your successes it's important to remind yourself that you have had many more successes than you have had failures principle number 20 commit to constant and never ending improvement always ask yourself how can i make this better how can i do it more 
efficiently. How can I do this with greater love? Improve in smaller increments. Take small manageable steps. Decide what to improve on. You can't skip test steps. Make a commitment to keep getting better and better every day in every way. It takes only a little extra bit of performance to go from good to great. Your brain is desire, designed to solve any problem and reach any goal that you give it. The words you think and say actually affect your body. Don't waste your life believing you can't. Don't assume you need a college degree. Belief in yourself is more important than knowledge, training, or schooling. Principle number 21, keep support for your success, keep measurements. Your natural inclination is always to improve your score. Measure what you want, not what you don't want. You may keep score of times. You dine with your family each time, each, time, each month. Decide where you need to keep score in order to manifest your vision and achieve your goals. Make sure to keep score in all the areas of your life, financial, professional, education, recreational, health and fitness, family and friends, personal projects, hobbies, contribution to society. Principle number 22, practice persistence. Many people give up just when they are about to achieve success. Persistence is probably the single most common quality of our high achievers. They simply refuse to give up. They won because they refuse to become discouraged by their defeats. Always say just one more attempt. Test your dreams. Your dreams are your real job. Uh, your dreams are your real job. And then never give up on your hopes and dreams. It's always too soon to quit. For every failure, there is an alternative course of action. When you come to a roadblock, take a detour. When you confront an obstacle, you need to stop and brainstorm either of three ways to get around the block, through it, or over it. Always be solution-oriented in your thinking. Never quit. Difficulties are stepping stones to greater experience. When one door closes, another always opens its natural law of balance. Principle number 23, practice the rule of five. Every day we do five specific things that will move our goal towards completion. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. Principle number 24, exceed expectations. It is never crowded along the extra mile. If you are willing to do more than you are paid to do, eventually you will be paid to do more than you do. Give more than people expect. Trust that it will get noticed and recognized. The cream always rises to the top. Focus on how you can give more instead of how you can get more. You will automatically get more. Principle number 25. Drop out of ifs and buts club and surround yourself with successful people. You are the average of the five persons you spend the most time with. You can change the outer aspects of your life by changing the inner attitudes of your minds. It is important to spend time with the people you want to become like. Pay any price to stay in the presence of extraordinary people. Confidence is contagious. Make a list of everyone you spend time with on a regular basis, your family members, co-workers, friends. Put a plus sign against a positive person and put a negative sign against a negative person. Free yourself from the negative persons. Stop spending time with the people who always complain and, and blame others for their circumstances. Spend time with positive, nourishing, and uplifting people, people who believe in you, encourage you to go after your dreams and applaud your victories. Now coming to principle number 26. Acknowledge your positive past. Remember your successes, not your failures. Concentrate on your strengths more than your weaknesses. Celebrate your successes. Never set the bar too high for what we call a success. 
the more self esteem you have the more risk you are willing to take the more you acknowledge your past successes the more confident you become in taking on and successfully accomplishing new ones you know that even if you fail it wouldn't destroy you because your self esteem is high uh, and the more you risk the more you win in life the more shots you take the more chances you have of scoring begin with nine major successes divide your age into three bra brackets for example if you are 30 divide it into three parts as if from birth to age 10 from age 12 age, age 11 to 20 age 21 to 30 and then list your successes under the relevant age brackets list your 100 successes create a victory log keep a written record of your successes display your success symbols surround yourself with awards pictures and other objects that remind you of your successes and future goals make a gallery of all these awards and symbols so you can see them every day you are a living magnet what you attract into your life is in, is in harmony with your dominant thoughts just before going to bed stand in front of the mirror and appreciate yourself for all that you have accomplished during the day reward your inner child reward yourself when you succeed when you succeed celebrate and acknowledge your success so this was part 2 isse pehle hum part 1 ga chuke hain ye part 2 tha iske baad agla lecture part 3 ke bare mein hoga and then last lecture jo part 4 hoga uske sath is kitab ki summary jo hai wo apne takmeel ko pahunchegi till then take care Allah Hafiz.